Okay, so now we went over our vocab words. Now I'm going to go over the spelling words um, for us. I have it in the response section, but I'm going to show you this first to go over these words. So these are the words this week. We have a certain vowel, vowel pattern. They either use AU by itself, A-U-G-H, O-U or O-U-G-H. Now, if we look right here, it says the vowel sound in ball, so ah, can be used A-U, A-U-G-H, or O-U-G-H. So you can spell that word, that sound ah, using those three different ways. The letters O-U and O-U-G-H can make the vowel sound like in the word young, y for tapping out, y uh, uh. So that's another sound we have. And then there's one exception, though it's making the long O sound. So this is when we talk about in foundations using those spelling options. Okay, we know we can either make that A sound using A-U, A-U-G-H, or O-U-G-H. So we have to write it down and see which one looks right. Okay, and then the A uh sound, we can make it with O-U or O-U-G-H. And there's lots of different ways too, but for our spelling this week, this is what we're doing. So if you can see, these words are already sorted for you. So we sort them to group them together to help us remember. Okay, this is the way we spell because. It's with the A-U, just like author and sausage and faucet. And then when we have to use A-U-G-H, it's taught and daughter. Those are using the A-U-G-H. Then we have O-U, would, touch, could, should. So all of those are using O-U to make the U uh sound. Then O-U-G-H, okay, though, that's the one exception, that's a long O. Then we have bought, the past tense of buying something. Now, bought and taught sound the same, they rhyme, but they are spelled differently. You have to try, try to remember, taught is spelled with A-U-G-H. And we have enough, if you have enough of something, that means you have plenty of it. Um, fought, the past tense of fight. They didn't fight it with each other, they fought with each other. Um, brought, past tense of bring. Again, you don't say I bring did the food to you, uh, I brought the food to you. So those are the words this week. And now you're going to go back into your assignment after you've watched both of my videos. And we're gonna add the response right here. Okay, so it says you can complete this on a, sorry, separate sheet of paper and take a picture of it, or you can type it up. It's up to you, whichever one you want to use. Um, get a pencil in your hand. Sometimes it's just easier than typing it up. So you need a dice. If you don't have a dice, then you need to have six little sheets of paper with the numbers on them, and you can just pick one as you go. So we're gonna do this with all of our words. So there's 22 total, because we have the vocab words and we have the spelling words. So the first thing you'll do is take your dice and roll it, whatever you get. So say I get a four for that first one, okay? So here's my example. You write the word airport, Tell me I rolled a four. Four says I need to write an antonym of the word. So I would write an antonym right here. Students. Okay, and then, so the next word is delicious. I type up delicious and I see what I roll. Okay, write your word three times. Delicious, 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 delicious. <laughs> so you're gonna do this with all of your words. You can, if you roll number one, you write it in a sentence. If you roll number two, you draw a picture of your word. Now, if you are on your uh, seesaw screen. You can always you use this little drawing tool to draw it. So if I had to draw delicious, I might draw my picture. This is what I put for delicious. It's ice cream. Okay. Synonym means the same thing. You can go back into that PowerPoint to help you if you need to. You can go online and to a thesaurus and try to find words that mean the same thing. Again, not every word has a perfect synonym. You have to think sometimes like of an example instead. Or roll again if you don't know it. Um, 
And then antonym opposite, definition. Go online, find the definition of that word. Or with these vocab words, you can look in the back of your reading textbook in that glossary. Um, and then write your word three times. It's pretty self-explanatory. So make sure um, if you do it on a separate sheet of paper, you take a picture of it. And then on this next page, so if you choose to do a picture, you click that camera and you upload that picture or you just take it right there, click the photo, see a bunch of me, take a picture of it and post it. If you have any questions, let me know.